Corinne is the woman Bachelor Nation loves to talk about. Known for her outrageous antics and her nanny. Last night, Nick sent her home, but now she's here at our home with us for the first time. But before we talk to her, we're going to take a look back at her journey. Overnight, a Bachelor jaw dropper. Vanessa. <laughs> The woman so many love to watch. Sent home during one of the most intense rose ceremonies of the season. <laughs> Nick saying goodbye to the 24-year-old business owner. Just before jetting off to Finland with his final three, Vanessa, Raven, and Rachel. I feel like my heart is like, literally like, it's never gonna be repaired. In the end, it wasn't meant to be. I'm going to be me. And whatever happens, happens. But I will never kiss up to a man ever again in my life. I'm done. I want to go to sleep. Here, now, with us. Welcome to the show. Thank you. And, and we're, watching, we're watching that video, and, it's, and, and I'm wondering if you are, are you surprised you were sent home? I definitely was surprised I got sent home. Um, we had just had such an amazing hometown date, and... You know, things went really well with my family. I just thought we had a lot of fun. You know, we talked about a lot of emotional things mm -hmm. and just super blindsided by going home. Now, and, and we saw in that piece you said, I'll never put myself out there for a man again. You told Nick you loved him. You, you yeah. went that far. So is there anything you wish you had or hadn't done? No, him. no, I mean, I just, I really don't have any regrets. Um, I was fully myself and, um, I just, I wouldn't, I would have been really upset if I didn't tell him how I felt. I would have regretted that. So I'm glad I said what I said. And there, there are a lot of people who say, well, I wonder, is she really that way? Did she just do so many things for shock value? Um, it, is it really you or did some of these things where they just, okay, I'm in the moment, let me play it up a little bit? I mean, I do have a very big personality, so yeah, that, that is me. Um, there was a lot of, you know really intense and emotional conversations that weren't shown. I mean, it wasn't also like sexy chemistry. and flirty all the time, but um, yeah, that, that's me. And you, and you were painted, you were painted as the villain. With, do you think that was fair, first of all? No, I don't think it was fair. I didn't, uh, you know, a villain to me does things viciously to other people. I never did anything vicious to anybody. I was just doing me. I was just, you know, like, I'm gonna do me, you guys do you, I'll do what I wanna do in my time. You do you. And you did it, and you did you well. I'll tell you that. Thank Every, you. Everybody loved it. I mean, they're around the studio, they're going crazy, like, she is here. This is, this is the one. Thank you. And, um, a lot of these fathers were pretty tough on Nick when he went to their home. And Vanessa really took offense to that. How did yeah. you feel about that? See, for me, it's like I went into the process knowing that it is a process. And, you know, I wasn't surprised that Nick had asked the other girls' dads, you know, for permission to mm -hmm. propose and things like that. I just, you know, I think it was, you know, fair for what we're going through and fair to Nick, you know. It's probably really hard on Nick to go through something like that, and I, I understood. I understand that. Well, you know what? I want to thank you for coming, and the Women's Tell All episode's coming up. I'm excited, because I have a feeling you're going to do you, and you're going to do it well. We're going to see a full night of the Bachelor on Monday at 8, 7 Central, right here on ABC. We'll be right back with Tim McGraw.